everything went fine. Here I had the rights, but what I didn't know is that I couldn't sell it to anybody. God, I tried every way to sell it, and I couldn't. We don't want those guys with their earrings down, with their hair down, and their spike heels, and not on our network. Finally, ABC said, look, if you can get a standard pop host, like if you can get Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, or Andy Williams, we'll take the show. Well, knowing that Sinatra and, and Dean, and I, I knew all these guys very well, I concentrated on Andy. I mean, he had the number one, he had the big, big show. And I finally got Andy to do it. He didn't want to do it either. That was the, now we go on. I sold the show to ABC. And the deal that I'd made with the Record Academy is that we would go to LA, New York, and Nashville. Nashville was because of the uh, uh, Acuff uh, Rose, Glenn Rose, uh, he was the chairman, and I mean, that was Nashville. Okay, then it was country. So we did the first year at uh, Hollywood Palladium. Then we came back to the uh, Eurus Theater here in New York. And then the third year, ABC said, look, it was, they, their pickups were on a yearly options. They said, we're not going to pick this show up if you go to Nashville. I said, well, why not? I said, well, we don't want a country show. And number two, you'll never get stars down to go down to Nashville. Well, I thought that was ridiculous, and it was a big bluff, you know. I said, they're going to ask me to take less money or something. They dropped the show. I said, good God, they dropped the Grammy Award. Now I've got a clause in my contract with Nearest that gives me like 60 days to sell this thing, or to buy it. Or, so against everyone's advice, I went ahead and bit the bullet. I picked the show up, which meant I had to deliver a show. Now, I could put it on syndication or whatever, but it was extreme loss. And uh, <laughs> I was really panicky. So what do I do? I go to NBC. I said, are you crazy? We, don't want we had that show and we dropped it. We had no, no, no way. Well, I can't go to ABC, right? So my old friend Bob Wood was in the uh, president of CBS. And I went to Bob, I said, Bob, you gotta help me out. I said, I'm gonna lose a fortune on this thing and it's, it's a great show and so And then he goes, Pierre, says, ABC had it and dropped it. NBC had it and doesn't want it. What do you want me to do? Tell my guys are gonna blah, blah, blah. I went on and on. So I came back to New York, I was kind of panicky. And uh, I lived with Bob Wood, I drove him crazy, but no way. Friday, it was a Friday, and I was going to uh, back to LA. And I, I went to 21 for lunch. And I ran into Lori Wood, Bob's wife. Said, Pierre, what are you doing in town? So she says, well, how long are you gonna be here? I said, I'm going back on the seven o'clock plane. Oh, no, you gotta come out. Come out, with, Bob will be so surprised to see you. It'll be so wonderful. So I went out there. When I opened that door, and there was Bob Wood, who every day for a week was trying to get rid of me, and my God, he have Grammy Awards. Oh, so now Monday, he's driving me to the airport. He's having his car driving to the airport. So I get up about six, six in the morning, 6.15, I'm going down the hallway, and their bedroom door is open. And I got this sudden idea. I went in, and I got in bed between his wife and Bob. <laughs> He said, what are you doing in my studio? And I threw a leg over Lori. I said, Bob, if you don't buy my show, I'm going to do to Lori what ABC did to me. He said, get out of here. I'll, I'll buy you a goddamn show, but I don't know what it's doing. That's how it got on. We got on, and we were a big hit. 